The Gravel Pit is an arts-based uh, salvage, I guess, shop. We house local artists. We have um, anywhere from a dozen to a half dozen year-round. We do uh, unique gifts and household stuff for people who are traveling and just people in Lake County. Uh, we sell everything from the candles that we make. We've got, you know, the tea towels, the hand towels. Um, local artists uh, always coming and going and restocking. Uh, we sell women's clothing. Sometimes we try to sell some men's stuff, apparel, accessories, jewelry, um, locally made jewelry. Anything we can salvage if we're kind of in the mood to salvage, you know, furniture. We kind of change it up throughout the year. Sometimes when you come in there will be a lot more salvage stuff. I would want customers to know that a lot of the stuff is locally made. I mean, we have somebody right now in the shop from Akron, but other than that, you know, these people are all within 20, 30, maybe 40 minutes of their, of where they live, you know, all these creative people. And to me, that's really cool. We've got about 17 local artists throughout the year. Um, some people are here all the time. They're always restocking. They've been here for years. Other times, you know, we have people come in seasonally depending on what they have. The soaps we get from a small company. Um, we've got a couple scents, I think, fragrances that like are always continuous sellers, the green clover field. And then the candles we do still make in-house in here. We usually have about seven to 10 of our regular ones that are here all the time. And then we try three times a year to do seasonal ones. My mom, I look up to her. She's an amazing artist. She works harder than anybody that I've ever met in my life. You know, honestly, she kind of holds, she's kind of like the glue here. She, you know, keeps me on track and all that kind of stuff. It's very rewarding to be in business with my mom. I'm learning from her constantly. It's humbling and um, it's a great learning experience. It's amazing being in Fairport Harbor. It's, it's always changing. There's continuous growth. There's so many people from out of town that come here. I was floored, honestly, when, when we first opened. Um, you know, I figured Painesville, Perry, Menor, you know, all of the surrounding like Lake County people would be, oh, they come here for the beach and stuff. And w there is not a week that goes by that we don't have somebody from out of town, let alone out of state. I mean, it's, it's so cool to meet all these people, people that have grown up here, they've moved away, they come back for their families. It's always, it's always fun.